Hello viewers, welcome back and happy Women's Day. On this occasion of Women's Day, I'm going to have a woman to woman talk today. So, to start with, UN Women considers that education is one of the greatest game changers for women and girls around the world. It is both an enabler and force multiplier for women's economic, political, and social empowerment and gender equality. So whatever I'm going to say further down the line is not to offend any of my male friends, male family members, or any man around the globe. You know what, I have seen it since my childhood that women have been trained to think that we are overreacting or that we are being too sensitive or unreasonable. We try to make sense of nonsense and we swallow the furious feelings. We try to put them into some hidden place in our minds, but they don't go away. So I recently came across, an, uh, came across a video on YouTube in which they've explained man's brain and women's brain. And they have, the guy who was explaining it has shown the complexities in women's brain. Yes, we are complex human beings and I am proud to be the, that way. So this is not a place for a full cultural history of women hating, but I would like to just mention how women have been demeaned since the earliest preserved records. And this is from a lot of uh, videos I watched and I came to know that since ancient literature, it is stated in the books that women are secondary in the society. From the book of Leviticus, which said, menstruating women are unclean and whoever touches them will be defiled. The great Aristotle referred to a female as an incomplete male or as it were a deformity. Confucius said, rather he felt that 100 women weren't worth one text testicle. So despite of the vast improvements in the lives and the rights of women across the world in the last century, their activism and feminism has risen to dramatically different levels, there still seems to exist this very complex network of ideological and cultural norms that still plague our society and that make global misogyny, in my opinion, a great scourge and most pressing issue of our age. So the examples I gave, none of them were from Indian culture. So I am not going to call out how Indian culture only demeans women or few cultures on the earth demean women. But it is known that it, I mean, this is done globally. It's, it's, it's everywhere in the world. And that's why what I feel is why just expect men to give that kind of respect, political, educational, and financial equality. So, of course, men's support is 
crucial to this movement. But, and, and women don't ask to be ahead or behind men, but we just want to be on their side as equals. However, have you ever seen, have you ever felt, or have you ever done this to another woman? There are so many instances, there are so many examples that come to my mind every single day in which a woman does not support another woman. A woman disgraces another woman. A woman discourages the progress of another woman. So today's point I want to make is it is woman must support each other. Woman must support her fraternity. Stop judging the woman in front just because she's doing better than you, doing less than you. She got a husband better than yours, looks wise, money wise, and you do not have that kind of uh, partner. Don't discourage a woman because of the way she looks, because of the way she dresses up, because of the complexion she has. If you cannot spread positivity, just keep mum. Just practice neutrality. So finally and most importantly, I call upon women to raise each other up, to make each other's welfare a priority and to never ever, and to never shame a woman for the choices she makes. Support her. Don't judge her for her marital status. Do not judge her for who she sleeps with and please do not judge her if she simply goes out with some friend, male or female. Refuse to internalize and reject the centuries of women hating as hard as that might be. With all of us doing these things and educating our children to do the same, we may finally have the chance to stamp on that opportunity to shift the paradigm that led this despicable events of this uh, of this society. Never ever give up hope that your actions and words, however big or small, can be a part of this shift, can be a part of this revolution. So, to be in the presence of this bright light, this light will come from any source or any direction. It could filter in from anywhere. It could be the light that we lit at the start of the beginning. For some, it could be a stoplight. Or it could just be a flickering candle in a dark room. So may be the big bright sun. Let this light shower on you. Women, you are special. It is our responsibility to stand by another sister, another female friend, another female family member for everything that is right. Again, I am not trying to spread any hatred or enmity towards our male friends or the male counterparts in the society. I am just trying to generate this tiny awareness that you are also responsible that so many women are not treated the way they should be. They are not granted honor or respect within their faiths. So please choose to support each other. With this, I again wish you all a very happy Women's Day. I am 
a very proud daughter of parents who have believed in me, had faith in me, and till date, whatever choices I have taken, good or bad, my mother, father, and my brother have stood by me in every single decision of my life. So I request everybody to please spread positivity, support each other, that if you cannot spread positivity, try to practice neutrality or stay away from anything that is going to affect you negatively. Happy Women's Day and thank you for watching this video. I hope we all will stay together and grow together in our lives. We deserve the best and I believe and I pray that we get the best. Thank you very much and have a very, very good day.